Well, good morning. Day two on the AZD. After my arduous first day on the Arizona Trail, it was definitely in need of a good caffeine jolt to get the blood flowing and ready to climb 1,300 feet over 2.3 miles. As I neared the summit, the trail became much rockier as it twisted in and out of various rocky crags. With an increase in elevation, the trail became surrounded with pines and when they opened up, the views out to the desert floor were beautiful. We just uh, reached the top of uh, Miller Peak. It's not quite the top. There is a side trail that you can take. To, uh, to reach the top, if you head up that way. We're at about 9,100 feet. So that's a lot of elevation gain in the first, uh, first section of this uh, Arizona Trail. It's been something. We started in the uh, desert, snoring desert, cactus, and then just above Montezuma Pass, start transitioning out of the uh, the desert scrub and into the, I guess, lower alpine. Um, cactus disappear, and you start seeing more of these these pine trees. Nice thing from here is it's downhill. Boy, no rest for the wicked. No easing into this Arizona trail, but I tell you, it's been such a blast grueling to get to get because uh, you're starting uphill straight away there's no uh, day of relative ease you're uh, you're either ready or you're not and so it's good to uh, to hit this elevation start heading downhill while taking a break the sheriff's department helicopter came up the north face of Miller Peak along the trail although it circled over me it probably didn't take long for them to determine I was not an illegal border crosser being a pretty fair-skinned Canadian and decked out with a bright blue shirt and bright green backpack. What goes up must come down. Heading down off Miller Peak felt exhilarating compared to the steep inclines up to this point. Even though it was early April, there were still pockets of snow when the north, on the north face. There had been some big snowstorms at the higher elevations in the previous couple months and some hikers ended up needing to be rescued off the trail. Further down the trail I encountered my first wildlife as a couple deer crossed the trail ahead of me. Invoking my inner Dr. Doodle, I offered up some morning chatter with the deer. You food good over there boys and girls? Must be if we're not bothering you. In the early afternoon I came across my first water source on the trail at an aptly named Bathtub Springs. I have no clue as to how or why anyone would carry a cast iron bathtub up to 8,500 feet. Regardless, thank you, insane person. As will be seen in upcoming episodes, most water sources in Arizona would not be full of crystal clear flowing water. Hence why a good water filter is a critical piece of gear when through hiking. Even though I had only been on trail for two days, the variety of flora along the trail was already vast. I was quite amazed when I came across a number of tree trunks that had a very distinctive bark that was broken up in ridges that I would come to call crocodile trees. I did not miss the mark by much as I later found out that they were actually called alligator junipers and those found in this region mark their northernmost reach.
Here I am walking along the trail not far from where I would finish my second day on the AZT at the northern boundary of the Miller Peak Wilderness. Over the next 300 miles I would develop a love-hate relationship with the rockiness of the trail. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up below and also click to share it. If you have any questions on my AZT through hike, leave a comment below and I will reply to it. Each Monday I will be posting a new video on YouTube showing my next steps along the Arizona Trail, so click the bell below to be notified when a new video is posted. You can also follow many other adventures of the Ambler Odysseys with Bill England on my website www.theamblerodysseys.info and on my social media platforms.